Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2010 Road Trek RS Adventurous with 48,160 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2010 Road Trek RS Adventurous. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated dealership. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. That means we go through all the stuff in the RV. We go through the stuff on the coach, make sure things are ready to roll. We'll go through a full demo with you at the time of sale. Got about 75 and a half inches of headroom in the main part of the coach, about 73 inches here at the rear air conditioner. This air conditioner is controlled via the uh, switches right there on the unit itself that runs on your AC power, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. Got a fantastic fan here in the center. This acts like an attic fan at night if you open up the windows, bring the cool outside air in. can also be an exhaust fan for your kitchen or for the restroom perhaps, which is in here. Got hard surface flooring, makes it easy to keep this clean in here. Got a table mount here. Also got one in the rear. You got belts on these two chairs, on the driver and passenger, and two belts in the rear. So a total of six belts in this unit. These chairs both swivel as well as the driver and passenger seats. Road Trek shows these being made into beds up front, similar to the 190 popular type of setup, uh, where these backs both rotate and face that way. Got a nice big door here with this curtain that goes across for privacy. Got a privacy curtain up front as well. Pull all the way across here for when you're parked. Got screen windows in the lower portion of the doors. Got a cup holder here. Got the start stop switch for the own and generator. This is an LP propane generator. Uh, so they start and stop that there. Water heater on off that ignites itself. An inverter switch that turns on the inverter to invert the coach battery DC power back to AC power. So you can use your standard AC appliances. That is a trip light inverter. Got your levels test here. So you can test your propane, your holding tanks, and your coach battery. The holding tanks are notoriously finicky. Water pump on off switch that'll pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. Coach battery disconnect that disconnects the uh, coach batteries which prevents parasitic draw. They'll also disconnect the charging systems which are the shore power plug-in, the alternator while you drive, or the generator. Got your fuse panel up here. So you got your 110 AC breakers and your 12 volt DC fuses in there. Got the crank for the TV antenna. You do not want to drive around with that antenna up. Got 110 power there. Also got 110 power underneath this cabinet. Got some of your manuals and other goodies there. Nice big window. Got a blind for that. Got these day night style shades here. Got windows that open with screens on the lower portions. Got nice big countertop space here. This is Corian countertop. A single basin stainless sink. Two burner propane cooktop. Got a three-way Dometic fridge freezer. This is a three-way, meaning it runs on AC power, so you're plugging in your generator, DC meaning your coach battery, or propane gas. A little slide-out pantry. Got an actual convection microwave oven. So this will operate like your regular microwave or also heats up like a conventional oven. Got your furnace down here. Got a box here, and we've got your water heater behind that. I'm gonna flip you around now. We're gonna check out the bathroom area. It's not much of a step up and into this bathroom area. Essentially, everything's going to drain down there into the drain in the basin. 
Got your stool there. Got some storage spots in the wall for your soaps. Got a little exhaust fan overhead. You can pull this curtain around this track to help contain the moisture. Got your shower head there, a little light. Another storage spot for your shower goodies. Got a sink here. Nice mirror. Spot to hang your clothes. That's your table leg. That's your DVD player. Got a switch there to control these speakers. So you can use that button to switch it to play off the automotive speakers or off of the DVD player back here. Got some plugs behind that. That's your TV remotes. This big storage bay. That's your TV there. That's just a cover that covers that up. Got your thermostat there. That's for the propane furnace. Nice big storage bay. Got some goodies there from the previous owner. Another 110 plug there. And we got a storage bay here. Got some more bedding goodies there. Got screen windows on the lower portions. Got those day night shades you can pull down. We've got a curtain that comes across for privacy in the very back. Also got a 110 power back here, a couple small reading lights. So this is a power sofa. So what you're gonna be able to do here is push this button right over here on the wall and run this sofa up and down. You can sleep in this as two twin beds like this. Makes it easy to get out of bed without crawling over one another. Or you can use the table that's below this cushion to fill in the gap and then use these cushions to make up the rest of the big bed. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements. The twin sleepers measure approximately 24 inches wide east-west or side-to-side -side, and 76 inches long north-south or front-to-back. The table fills in the gap to make the big bed, which measures approximately 70 inches side-to-side -side or east-west and 76 inches north-south or front-to-back. The table is really cool and custom in this road trek with a United States map. There is some space beneath the two seats that are where your feet would go when sleeping. Here we are sitting in the rear of the road trek. How do you weigh a millennial in Instagrams? Got an AC plug in here. Also got one up underneath here. It's kind of hidden by this cushion. Got a little spot here. We can tuck a few things. Got your fire extinguisher down below there some of these different style stash spots throughout if you see those things on the wall you can use those for storage nice looking road truck here nice floor plan this unit has gone through our full inspection process ready to hit the highway got a pretty good looking interior not seeing a whole lot of blemishes that really jump out. There's a couple small boo-boos on the outside. Very, very minimal. Nothing that affects the fun or the usability of this RV. We're going to go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions, and show you all this stuff working. I'm going to call this an A9 out of 10. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, Got a TomTom -tom style radio here. So this probably has some kind of GPS in it. It's also got Bluetooth. Got a glove box here. Got some storage up top. Got more storage up here. Down here below this, we've got a 750 watt trip light inverter. So again, that takes your DC power, inverts it to AC. You can turn that on or off here. Got your step switch for this power step that comes out when you open this door. So you can turn that on and off. So if you don't want that to keep coming out or going in every time you open and close the door, you can change that. Got nice clean upholstery. Not seeing any signs of smoking in the form of burns, stains, smells, no weird tears or signs of pets. The cigarette lighter's unused. So while it's always tough to say for certain, I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2010 Road Trek RS Adventurous. This RV measures 22 and a half feet bumper to bumper with a 12 foot manual awning. The tires have 3719 date codes. 
This Road Trek is built on a 3500 Sprinter chassis with a 3 liter V6 diesel engine with 48,160 miles. Pretty nice looking exterior on this one, still got lots of shine left. Got the fill for the onboard freshwater tank here. These are the clevises for the awning legs. I prefer to run those legs directly to the ground. That prevents somebody from being able to walk through them and break them perhaps. Got 110 AC power. Got your porch light switch. Got a Velcro surround here. I don't see the screen inside, but this would have had a screen that you could Velcro in here. Got a power step. Got dual rear wheels. Coming around now to the back of the coach. Got a backup camera. Got our air conditioner up top. Got a tow package. Got storage beneath the couch in the rear. Also got this nice screen here. Got your awning crank there. Come around now to the driver's side. Got a little boo-boo up here. Got an outside shower, got your generator exhaust. Again, we got the dual rear wheels on this unit. Got the back of the refrigerator, furnace exhaust. Got the back of the water heater. We've got your shore power connection there. Got a spare tire. Got your uh, gray and black handles there, so you'll pull the gray and then the black. This has a macerator pump, so that's gonna pump out of there. Got your cable TV hookup, and that black thing there is to uh, unclog the macerator pump if that's to become clogged. Got the macerator um, hose there. It comes out of that uh, thing with the valve there you see. Got your propane tank. Uh, got a gauge there, valve to turn that on off. Got your city water in. To engage the wastewater discharge or macerator pump, you're gonna push and hold this red button. Got your diesel fuel fill. Nice looking road truck here. This road truck adventurous is ready to go on some adventure this summer.